Okay, folks, here we go. I did change my club to the quarterback for this hole um, because of the extra extra accuracy, 100% accuracy, which I like with this hole because it's uh, one of those brutal holes that I like to screw with you because it's downhill. Um, we're going to line up the edge of the front uh, front of this fairway here and we're just going to adjust this up not too far because it you're going downhill remember so I'll go right about there you want to make sure this beauty lands in the rough 10.6 ah, great, great ball should still be oh no it went too far so put her too close to the edge there and ruined myself from getting the eagle here but It's, um, he's going to go for the rough bump here. Like I said, it's downhill, so I shouldn't use that much of an adjustment. Let's see what he ends up with here. Perfect shot. He's going a long ways in the wrong direction. kind of lucky there out of the sand so I'm in deep trouble here obviously but I mean I'm not in deep trouble but I'm not getting my eagle unless this miracle happens but we'll see what we can do go with half where we want to be but it's close nice enough shot. to put in for the, um, for the for the birdie not the eagle but I mean it's a fairly easy eagle hole I just totally botched it whoops we both did actually which is uh, not so cool See if you can drop this in. These are tough ones when you're close and the wind's blowing straight across. Of course, the needle's going 100 miles an hour. Oh, nice. Very nice. Beauty shot. Good for him. Dropped it in there. Well, that's disappointing. I didn't get the eagle, but... <clears throat> It's there. You can see what you kind of have to do. As long as you're hitting that first bounce, it should be perfect. But, of course, mine went a little bit too far. But anyway, we'll uh, cut that one off and move on to the next hole.